Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore GeekBot, a powerful tool for managing stand-ups, surveys, and asynchronous meetings within Slack and Microsoft Teams. If you're new to GeekBot or just looking to get the most out of it, you're in the right place. We'll walk you through everything step by step, so let's get started. First, let's head over to the GeekBot website using the link in the description. If you don't have an account yet, click on the Get Started button. You can sign up using your email or by connecting GeekBot to your Slack or Microsoft Teams account. If you already have an account, go ahead and click on the Login button. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the GeekBot dashboard. This is your central hub where you can manage all your stand-ups, surveys and meetings. Now it's time to set up our first stand-up. Click on the Stand-ups tab from the given templates. This will open up the Stand-up editor. In the Stand-up editor, you can choose which team members you want to include in your stand-up by selecting them from the list here. You can add multiple team members to a single stand-up. Next, customize your stand-up questions. GeekBot provides default questions like, how do you feel today? And what will you do today? But you can edit these or add your own. To add a question, click on the plus icon located below every question. Type your question in the text box and hit Save. You can rearrange the order of the questions by dragging and dropping them. Once you're happy with your questions, it's time to schedule your stand-up. Click on the Schedule button. A calendar will pop up, allowing you to choose the frequency, date and time of your stand-up. You can schedule it to repeat daily, weekly or on specific days. Once you've set your preferred schedule, click Save to confirm. Your stand-up is now scheduled and GeekBot will automatically prompt your team members at the specified times. Great, we've just scheduled our first stand-up. Now that we know how to create and manage stand-ups, let's explore some of GeekBot's more advanced features. One powerful feature is the ability to create and use surveys. To create a survey, create a new workflow. Here, you can design a survey from scratch or use one of GeekBot's templates. On the Editors tab, enter your survey questions and choose the type of responses you want, such as multiple choice, open-ended or rating scale. To add a question, click on the plus button. Type your question in the text box and select the response type. You can also add options for multiple choice questions. Once you've added all your questions, click Save. You can then schedule your survey just like we did with the stand-ups. Another great feature is GeekBot's ability to handle asynchronous meetings. This is especially useful for remote teams or teams working across different time zones. To access asynchronous meetings using GeekBot, you need to set up a workflow that suits your team's schedule. Create a new workflow and choose a workflow template, such as Quick Check-In or Daily Stand-Up, from the Templates page. Click on the template to access the template editor. Enter the meeting agenda and any specific questions or topics you want the participants to address. You can also set a deadline for responses. Once everything is set, click Save to schedule the meeting. GeekBot will handle the rest, ensuring that everyone can contribute without needing to be online at the same time. Now let's talk about managing and viewing the results of your stand-ups, surveys and meetings. GeekBot provides a comprehensive dashboard where you can see all the responses and analytics in one place. This makes it easy to track the progress of your projects and identify any bottlenecks or issues that need to be addressed if you have many workflows and are unable to find a specific workflow. You can simply search for the workflow using this search bar. You can also export the data to share with your team or stakeholders. To export a summary of your weekly reports for sharing with your team, go to your profile on the lower left of the GeekBot dashboard. Hover over your profile to find the My Activity section. Apply filters to your results for a customized view. Export them as a CSV file for detailed examination and sharing with your team. Another useful feature is the ability to set up reminders and notifications. GeekBot can send reminders to your team members to ensure they don't miss any stand-ups, surveys or meetings. To set up reminders, select any one of your workflows. Now click on My Preferences located in the top right corner. Here, you can customise the frequency and timing of the reminders. 
you can choose to send reminders a few minutes before the scheduled time or at regular intervals throughout the day. Once you've set up your reminders, click Save to apply the changes. You can also enable email notifications to ensure that you and your team members receive reminders even if they're not actively using Slack or Microsoft Teams. Now, let's dive into one of the most powerful features of Geekbot, the Analytics tab. To access the Analytics tab, click on Analytics on the left-hand side of the dashboard. This section is where you can track the performance and engagement of your stand-ups, surveys, and meetings. Understanding the analytics can help you make informed decisions and optimize your team's workflows. Lastly, let's talk about Geekbot's pricing plans. Understanding the pricing structure will help you choose the plan that best suits your needs. Geekbot offers several plans, including a free plan. You can sign up for the free plan using the link in the description. The free plan is ideal for small teams or those just getting started with Geekbot. This plan allows up to 10 participants and includes basic features like stand-ups and surveys. It's a great way to test out Geekbot's core functionalities without any financial commitment. However, the free plan has some limitations in terms of customization and advanced features. Next, we have the scale-up. This plan is designed for small to medium-sized teams that need a bit more flexibility. The scale-up plan includes up to 20 participants and offers additional features such as custom questions, templates, and more frequent reporting options. This plan is perfect for teams that have outgrown the free plan but don't yet need all the advanced features available in the higher tier plans. Finally, there's the Enterprise Plan. This plan is tailored for large organizations that need the full range of Geekbot's capabilities. The Enterprise Plan supports more than 50 participants and includes all the features of the professional plan. Additionally, it offers dedicated account management, custom onboarding, and enhanced security features. This plan is perfect for large teams that need a robust solution for managing their stand-ups, surveys, and asynchronous meetings at scale. When choosing a plan, consider the size of your team and the specific features you need. If you're just starting out or have a small team, the free or starter plan may be sufficient. As your team grows and your needs become more complex, you can easily upgrade to the professional or enterprise plan. Geekbot also offers a free trial for the paid plans, so you can test out the features before making a commitment. And that's it for our Geekbot tutorial for beginners. We've covered everything from signing up and connecting your accounts to creating and managing stand-ups, surveys, and meetings, using advanced features, tracking responses, setting up reminders, and understanding the pricing plans. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to click the link in the description to try Geekbot for free.